is CNN Breaking News. All right, we have breaking news. Just moments ago, the president announced on Twitter that the United States has reached a deal with Mexico and now says he will not institute tariffs on Monday. Let me quote now. He writes, I am pleased to inform you that the United States of America has reached a signed agreement with Mexico. The tariffs scheduled to be implemented by the U.S. on Monday against Mexico are hereby indefinitely suspended. Mexico, in turn, has agreed to take strong measures to stem the tide of migration through Mexico and to our southern border. This is being done to greatly reduce or eliminate illegal immigration coming from Mexico and into the United States. Details of the agreement will be released shortly by the State Department. Thank you. Uh, that was the president just moments ago. I should note the president actually removed the tweets, but then reposted them, making us all wonder, well, was there not a deal? But now it appears to be done. Let's go back to Joe Johns at the White House. Joe, what do you know? Well, I, that sound you hear is the sigh of relief coming from so many businesses, especially small businesses with narrow margins that move uh, goods across the southern border. Look, one thing we do know is that there have been signs, if you read them very carefully, over the last 24 hours or so that something was happening. The, the president of Mexico, uh, speaking publicly, was issuing conciliatory messages earlier in the day, uh, making it clear that he did not want a confrontation uh, with the United States. Uh, we know also that there have been a variety of people here uh, at the White House suggesting, on the one hand, the talks were going very well over the State Department. On the other hand, now we're not sure that we're going to mm -hmm. bear anything out. Uh, of course, uh, what the president mentioned there about Mexico securing its border is a theme that this administration has been pushing uh, very hard over the last several days. Again, that important idea of trying to stem the flow of migrants coming from the southern border around Guatemala, frankly, mm. uh, and uh, marching upward to the U.S. border and uh, seeking asylum. Uh, there, they mm -hmm. wanted that to stop. So the question is that the president got what he wanted. Of course, uh, the president sees tariffs as a very effective tool for him. He calls himself the tariff man. He likes them because he has a lot of flexibility as to uh, when he uses them. So uh, if it looks on paper the way the president is describing it, uh, once again, the president and his mm -hmm. tariff strategy uh, appears to have been at least somewhat effective. Right, although that very much depends on what deal was reached. And at this point, we have no idea. I keep looking down for details. They have not been published yet. Joe, I'll let you get That's back right. to work. If you do hear anything, let us know. Back with us now, Adolfo Franco and Kirsten Powers. Guys, before the commercial, I suggested you should stick around because we might have news. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so the president says there's a deal. What we don't know is what's inside the deal, Kirsten. And I know that. I know what's inside. It's going to be huge. But... Mm -hmm. If he did get any concessions out of Mexico through this tariff threat, does that indicate that maybe for this president, diplomacy by tariff can work in some places? Well, I, I mean, we have to see exactly right. what he got. So it's just a little bit hard to say. But yes, of course, if you play hardball and you win, then then that's a win. There's no question mm -hmm. about it. But, but we have to see what they actually agreed to. And I think that the administration was looking for a deal. There was so much pressure on mm -hmm. them from the Republican Party, from businesses, uh, and, the, and the pushback against it was really strong. And so I... I think they were looking to, to find some sort of agreement and to avoid this. And so we'll have to see what's actually in the, mm -hmm. you know, when we actually see what, what's actually been written down and agreed to, um, then we can make a judgment. And, and Adolfo, you heard Joe John say the sigh of relief. The sigh of relief yeah. is coming from American business people, Americans sure. in Texas, uh, in Michigan, all over the country, who felt that they would be crushed if these tariffs went through. Um, so, you know, it does beg the question whether or not it maybe it was effective. We don't know the, the contours of the deal yet. But to do it at the expense, potentially, uh, of American workers, is that the right thing? Well, obviously, it was the right thing because we don't have tariffs and we are going to be in a better shape with respect to border enforcement in Mexico than we were before this entire mm -hmm. uh, exercise began. Uh, I think it's important for the viewers to understand the references to the militarization of the National Guard, which is what it is now, a military force, the deployment uh, of these resources to the southern border of Mexico, additional checkpoints, which mm -hmm. Mexico already announced, and the, the establishment and creation of detention centers were all a consequence of the president putting pressure on Mexico mm -hmm. to impose these tariffs. So it's already a huge win for, for, for the president. We'll see uh, if 
the agreement is, which I would be mm -hmm. very surprised, a paring back of what we already know have been the, mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, the items on the table, then there would be a different story. I expect it to be the contrary, and that is additional mm -hmm. things, particularly uh, on the northern border. So this was effective, and the president does not want to impose tariffs on Mexico, but he has made it clear throughout that he wants to use this as a tactic. And Mexico, quite mm -hmm. frankly, John, so, yes, it would be terrible mm -hmm. for a lot of Americans, American jobs and American businesses, mm -hmm. but Mexico stood to lose far more than the United States, well, and that's why these things came about. We will see, uh, hopefully, what is in this deal soon, and we will be able to analyze it, I think, more thoroughly then. Adolfo Franco, Kirsten Powers, thank you. Powers, thank you. I'd love to.